Tell us about your essay. Right, so my essay, obviously, I, um, I've worked really hard on it, and I'm going to be talking about um, the decline of the Janito language and obviously how it, the significant impact it could have on our youth, which it, which it is, it is having right now. Because we're at a point where 20 to 30 years prior to where we are now, our, all the, the older generations used to speak fluent Spanish or fluent Janito, which is completely different to Spanish. Um, well, not completely different, but it's obviously not the same. It has its different aspects and its different words. And now I think we're at a point where the youth don't know the language. It's, it's becoming like maybe they can understand it, but not exactly speak a, like a full conversation, which could be a problem in, in the further. Absolutely, and definitely a loss, no? A part of our culture. Yeah. So what, what would you describe your experience of speaking Shanito or, or not speaking enough Shanito with your friends? You know, what's the situation when it comes to your age group? So my, my friends, obviously, they don't speak Shanito. Like, mm -hmm. they don't really understand the Spanish language. I think that it's, it's a problem that starts at home. Like, the parents don't speak to them in Spanish or in Shanito, and then it, it elapses to them and they don't speak it either. Mm -hmm. it, it can be a problem within school, for example. In school, as we're meant to know, Janito, we have two mandatory lessons for GCSEs instead of three. Where in the UK, if you pick Spanish, which you have to pick either Spanish or French, you have three. This is based due to us having to know a certain more amount of, uh, of Spanish. But obviously we don't. 20 to 30 years prior, they did. And that's why this was implemented. But now I think that they should change that. So what do you think should be done at schools? How, how should they restructure that going forward? Starting like from scratch? I don't think that they should start from scratch. I think that they should firstly start from a younger age and start implementing the language even further. As in teaching younger, it to younger yeah, yeah, groups? Yeah, to, to younger groups even further. Um, because obviously I have a younger sister now, she's, she's three, and my mum obviously she tries her best to influence her and to speak to her in Spanish so that she starts speaking the language. But she goes to school and obviously with her friends and with everything, she's only three, she's turning four now. But still she speaks more, lang more, more English than Spanish. And obviously, even if you speak to her at home when she goes to school, she's going to talk to her friends in English. You can't force it at home, but you can start teaching it more in school. And obviously, this would further... Absolutely. Yeah. And do you think it's something that your peers are interested in? Do they want to speak more Shanito or have more fluent Spanish? I don't think that you're really interested in it until you come to realise that it can affect you further on in life. Mm -hmm. As in further on in life in Jib, it's very important for us to speak in Spanish. Like I was um, mentioning it to Jonathan this morning in the, in the radio. Um, when you go to Spain, for example, with your family on the weekends, most people go to Spain on weekends, you go to your nice fish restaurant to order some fish. You can't speak Spanish. Absolutely. How do you order your fish? If you want to ask a question about the menu, how do you ask a question? It could be a problem in further date. Absolutely. It won't be fun going to a restaurant and not being able to have any food. Yeah. Well, you're here also because you're going to the House of Commons. You're going to speak there, which is incredibly exciting. Uh, so how do you feel about that prospect? So I'm, I'm honestly, it's a dream come true. I'm really, really excited about it. And uh, I've worked really, really hard for it. I entered last year and I did a win, but I continued striving for it. And this year I've, I've won. So obviously it's, it's I'm really happy about it. Excellent. Perseverance pays off. Yeah. Well done, Jesse. We look forward to hearing what you have to say in the House of Commons. And thank you for joining us in the studio. Thank you very much for having me.